Okay, so now that we have added login and registration functionality to our application, let's add in a bit more security by adding validation to our login and registration form. But first, let's handle the login form. Okay, so I'll just take you to the login form here and let's log out this user. As you can see, when we are on this form here, when I try to log in um, without passing in any values or passing in something that's not an email, um, it just takes us back to this form, but it doesn't show us any errors. Okay, so let's handle um, that validation and output some errors uh, at the top here. Okay, so back in our text editor here, let's go to the auth controller where in uh, we handle the login. So inside here, in handle login, Laravel provides us with a validate function in a controller. So this exists in the um, controller that we're extending here. So we're going to do this validate. So we want to validate the request that's coming in. We first pass in the request and uh, we're going to pass in some validation rules, uh, which we'll create shortly, but they're going to live inside this um, user class here. It's going to be a static property, which we'll create in a moment. So we'll just first call it. So user colon colon um, login validation rules. Okay, so next let's create that static property. So we go to our user class here. We're going to say public um, static. So let's just put a space here. And it's going to be called login validation rules. And um, it's going to be an array which comprises of which properties we want to validate in the request. In this case, is the email. And um, we're going to specify that it is required. And this should not be a dash here, it should be a arrow for the array value. And uh, we're going to say it's required. And then it has to be an email and it has to exist in the database. So exist and um, it exists in the users table. So it's going to check that that um, email also exists in the users table with the, uh, the column email. So next we want to check for password. We validate that by saying that it needs to be required. Okay, so that's all that's needed to validate the um, login form. So let's go back to our browser now. Let's submit, let's leave it empty first. Uh, it's going to specify that um, it's all required but um, you'll notice that when we submit still we do not see anything okay and the reason for that is we um, have not put in um, any outputs in our master file to show the validation rules okay so let's do that quickly so let's go to our masters file here actually not the masters file in the login file for art and um, just after the h2 header here we're going to do a check so anytime that validation fails um, Laravel provides for you a variable called error so we're going to check um, if the, uh, the count of error is um, more than one so we do count errors and if that is positive that means it's more than one we are going to um, loop over there and output all the errors so we're going to do an end if okay so let's use a bootstrap class on this div here and um, the class will be alert so that it's styled nicely and it's alert danger. Okay, so in here we're going to create a UL tag and we're going to loop over it. So at for each um, errors and that errors variable has a function called all that is we're going to loop through all the errors as error. And um, here we're just going to do a li tag, but let's first close the for each. And then we do a li tag, and in there we just output error. Okay, so let's go back to our browser and we submit this form here. So we have an error, and um, right, I'll just go and debug that quickly, and I'll just resume when I'm done with it. Okay. Okay. So after debugging, um, I found out that there were two um, major errors in the application, and um, one is that we did not import this user here. So let's first import that um, in the app namespace user. And secondly, in the user class here, I did not put a semicolon after um, the static variable declaration. So back in our browser here, I'm going to submit that form empty and um, we should see those errors being displayed. Um, then that's displayed using um, this for each loop that we have here. 
First, we're checking that um, errors has a count of more than zero, and then we're looping through over all the errors and then outputting them here. Okay, so let's enter an email here and leave the password empty. So I'll just do a lamin at uh, laravel.com and then leave this empty. So we should be redirected back to this form here. Okay, so as you can see, it says the password field is required. So I'll just pass in the password and then uh, make sure that this um, lamin um, email here does not exist in the database by using lamin2. As you can see, we do not have a lamin2 in the list of emails here. It should say that that um, email doesn't exist. And as you can see, the selected email is invalid. And of course, we never repopulate the password. And now let's enter in a valid email and a valid password. And we should be logged in properly. As you can see, homepage for user um, Lamin. Okay, so um, that's it, guys, for this tutorial video, uh, wherein we validated our login um, form. And in the next video, we're going to validate that registration form. I thank you for watching. I will see you soon in the next video. Cheers. Bye bye.